Greetings, this is Dr. Sandra Cabot. Perhaps I am better to say g'day and how are you? Because I'm an Aussie or I'm from down under and that's what Aussies say is g'day and I hope you're doing well. I've been interested in the liver for 30 years. I've done extensive research and I've written several books on the liver. This particular liver to topic is about liver cysts. So what are they? Well, liver cysts are sacs in the liver that contain fluid. The vast majority of liver cysts are benign. In other words, non-cancerous. They may be called simple cysts and are the most common type of liver cyst. Simple liver cysts are common and affect 10 to 15% of people. They become more common with increasing age. Simple liver cysts can be very small, pinhead size, or measure up to 10 centimeters, around four inches in size. What causes simple liver cysts? Many cysts are congenital, meaning that you are born with them and they grow larger as you get older. Liver cysts can also be caused by unhealthy bile ducts that contain gallstones or are inflamed by infection. And this puts back pressure on the liver tissue. The back pressure compresses liver tissue and assist forms. Liver inflammation from various causes such as excess alcohol, fatty liver and toxic chemicals may cause damage to liver cells which then die and are replaced with cysts. Most simple liver cysts contain fluid, but some can contain degenerated liver tissue or fat. The cysts are replacing liver tissue and are non-functional. It is important to try and stop more simple liver cysts from forming. Thankfully, the liver is able to repair damaged liver cells and grow new liver cells if you use the strategies of nutritional medicine. Liver cysts should be monitored by abdominal ultrasound scans done every 6 to 12 months as around 3% or 3 in 100 of simple liver cysts are precancerous. This is a low percentage and people with liver cysts should not feel anxious. Simple liver cysts may gradually shrink and go away if patients improve their diet and use nutritional medicine. Sometimes liver cysts are not simple cysts and can be more serious and this includes polycystic liver disease or PLD. This is a genetic or inherited disease occurring in around 1 in 10,000 people. In polycystic liver disease, groups of cysts that may look like clusters of very large grapes grow inside the liver. There may be no symptoms until adulthood. The liver gradually enlarges with the multiple growing cysts and can become huge over time. And this may cause a swollen abdomen and abdominal pain. In patients with severe symptoms from an enlarged liver, the procedure of liver transplantation is the best cure and is associated with excellent survival rates. Cysts caused by parasites such as hydatid disease. These are known as echinococcal or hydatid cysts. Hydatid cysts are caused by parasites, small tapeworms that pass to humans from dogs and sheep. The worms develop into cysts on people's livers and other areas of their bodies. Hydatid cysts are treated with antiparasitic drugs such as albendazole and mebendazole, which are very effective drugs Surgery may be required to remove the parasitic cysts. 
So let's go back to simple liver cysts, which are far more common than polycystic liver disease or hydatid disease. Okay, so can simple liver cysts cause symptoms? Well, most people who have benign simple liver cysts never have any symptoms and get a surprise to be told they have them after a routine abdominal ultrasound scan. In some cases, symptoms can occur, especially if the cyst grows to a large size or if there are multiple cysts. It is usually easy to tell from an ultrasound or CAT scan if a cyst is a simple benign cyst or a suspicious precancerous cyst. If the doctor is uncertain, a liver biopsy can be done to check what the cyst is made of. Rarely a simple liver cyst can burst or get infected and cause an abscess. So how do we detect and investigate liver cysts? We do the following tests. Ultrasound scan of the liver which uses high frequency sound waves to produce real-time pictures and videos of your liver, gallbladder and other abdominal organs. Computed tomography or CAT scan to produce three-dimensional images of your organs or a magnetic resonance imaging, known as MRI, which causes a magnet, radio waves, and a computer to produce accurate images of your organs. And lastly, a liver biopsy if needed, but this is not commonly done. Sometimes people with liver cysts have a tendency to form cysts in other organs in their body, such as the kidneys and thyroid gland. Ultrasound scans of these organs can be done to see if there are cysts in these areas. If you are a person who forms a lot of simple benign cysts in your skin, thyroid, liver, kidneys or ovaries, this is a sign that you could be deficient in the trace minerals iodine and selenium. So let's look at possible symptoms of liver cysts, which can include pain or pressure in the right upper abdomen, bloating and distension of the abdomen, indigestion, poor appetite, fever and acute pain if a cyst ruptures or gets infected, this is rare, if a cyst blocks a bile duct, jaundice may occur. Let's look at treatment for liver cysts. Most simple liver cysts do not need medical or surgical treatment and can often be shrunk with nutritional medicine. If a cyst is very large and or causing pain or looks suspicious for cancer, it may need surgical treatment. Surgical procedures that can be done include percutaneous aspiration under guidance from ultrasound or CT imaging needles are inserted into the liver cyst and the fluid in the cyst is drained off. Cyst fenestration this is a surgical procedure to remove part or all of the cyst wall. Liver, known as hepatic resection, this surgically removes the areas of the liver that contain the cysts. Transarterial embolization, during this procedure a substance is injected to block the artery that supplies the cyst with blood and the cyst goes away. Surgery to remove benign or cancerous cysts. Simple liver cysts removed with surgery rarely occur. Uh, I should say rarely recur, so it's quite effective. So that if you have a simple liver cyst and it needs to be removed with surgery, it will rarely recur. In other words, it's 
very unlikely to come back. And lastly, liver transplantation. This is done for polycystic liver disease that is severe and untreatable, but it is never done for simple liver cysts. So let's look at nutritional medicine for liver cysts. Simple liver cysts can often be shrunk or totally disappear if you change your diet to a healthy liver diet and take specific supplements. The diet should contain good quality protein from grass-fed meat, poultry, seafood and eggs. Plenty of vegetables, both cooked and raw, should be eaten. The best fruits for liver cysts are pineapples, citrus fruits and berries. Intermittent fasting is also beneficial to shrink liver cysts, and indeed any cysts, that are benign. Avoid sugar, high carbohydrate foods and processed foods. Another good idea is a 15 day detox such as the Dr. Sandra Cabot cleanse, which can help your liver to eliminate toxins. So if you have simple liver cysts, what are the excellent foods to shrink the liver cysts? These include garlic, raw is best, or use a garlic press to extract the juice, apple cider vinegar to use in salad dressings or have one tablespoon in the middle of meals, lemons and limes and grapefruits, onions and radishes, sauerkraut, which is a fermented cabbage but other fermented vegetables are also beneficial cruciferous vegetables broccoli sprouts and raw vegetable juices made with beet carrot kale pineapple and ginger let's look at supplements to shrink liver cysts this includes selenimmune one capsule daily Selenimmune helps your immune system and contains three types of organic selenium, zinc and iodine and other immune nutrients. Selenium and iodine are useful to shrink cysts in the liver, thyroid and kidneys. Many people are lacking in iodine and selenium and these are serious deficiencies. Another supplement to help is N-acetylcysteine, abbreviated to NAC, which is a potent liver cleanser and increases the production of glutathione, which can repair and detoxify your liver. The dose of NAC is one to two capsules twice daily in between meals with a whole large glass of water. Do not take NAC after dinner at night as it can be too strong for those with a sensitive stomach. NAC is very effective for breaking down mucus, biofilm and other damaged tissues in the body. There are a lot of studies on NAC which have shown that it is very useful for reducing the cysts associated with endometriosis. So I just included that as an aside for you because endometriosis is very common um, and the studies uh, using NAC to reduce endometrial cysts are very impressive. But indeed, I have found NAC is useful for liver cysts, um, although that has not been extensively studied, but that is in my experience. Serapeptase. This is another supplement that can help. It is an enzyme that breaks down unhealthy damaged tissues in the body. Take one or two capsules twice daily. Serapeptase is worth taking. However, if you are on a budget, the most important thing to take is selenimmune and NAC and these two things alone will often be effective to shrink the cysts. So to summarise for you, liver cysts that are simple cysts are common and the vast majority of these cysts are benign and will not turn into cancer. It is however important to monitor them with an ultrasound scan every 12 months. If you keep forming more cysts this can be a sign that your liver is inflamed and that healthy liver tissue is turning into non-functional cysts. 
Thankfully, nutritional medicine is effective in such cases and can help your liver cells to stay healthy and functional. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've found it helpful, particularly if you or your family uh, has a problem with liver cysts. And feel free to email us from our website. And if you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. And thanks for listening.